Are we rolling? Welcome, 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 welcome to Basement GP. Super excited to have you guys here. Um, today we are going to talk about all things that are exciting in getting your name on the raw well order list. How exciting is it to send somebody money and just kind of like hope for the best? So that is what we're going to get into. And um, I don't think we have any other news. What news do we have? Started racing the mini uh, again, kind of a lot more this week. So jump on the streams, watch the iRacing League and, and that. Um, and what else? Ooh, yeah. So tonight what I wanted to do uh, I'm going to talk to you about what it's like to order uh, a raw welt car. So the last kind of raw welt video we got into, uh, we were talking about uh, the fact that it's here and it's happened. And we are like moving on the raw welt project. We are moving. Things are getting exciting. Uh, but today is the first official kind of how-to video. Um, so today I wanted to jump in and talk about uh, how to order a... RWB car, what it takes to get on the list, kind of what the expectations are, um, and then we'll start to talk about our game plan. Maybe maybe I should have talked about that in this video, but maybe in the next video uh, a little bit more. And we can get started. Uh, the first thing I would say to anybody who is thinking about doing this, the first thing that you need to do is reach out to your community. Who has a car anywhere near where you live. And they're scattered across the US, so I know that if you live in the US, you can find somebody who will be willing to talk to you. Uh, you can even talk to people across the, the country. I've talked to people in Atlanta. Uh, I've talked to people in Portland, LA, Seattle. Um, that might be it, maybe one or two others. But anyway, I talked to a lot of them prior and had a lot of my questions answered um, about what the build process looks like, the wait list, how hard it is to get your car accepted or get accepted onto a list and that. So I had a really good time getting to know them. And the more I talked to RWB owners, the more it made me want to build uh, because it's such like, it's not about just having a car. Like it's the art, it's the experience. It's um, just all kinds of stuff. And for me as an artist, it means a lot because I really love the art and, and mastery that Nakai has with these cars. Um, but for other people, there's a lot of other reasons. So I will be taking the car on track. Uh, I will be taking the car on drives uh, here locally, maybe go to some other stuff. Um, but anyway, I wanted to reach out and ask kind of what the process looked like, uh, talk to those guys. Once I kind of had an idea of what I was going to do and what I could do, uh, I bought my Targa. Um, they send it out to you, you get it painted. And then when Nakai comes, you have the body kit ready in the shop ready. If you've got good manners, you've probably already got your bumper off. Maybe you've got the wheels and tires off. Uh, everything on standby. Things are sorted clean. Uh, from there, he comes in. And over the period of, I believe, three days, I don't know how that changes depending on how your kit is and what your car is. Uh, but over roughly three days, uh, he gets down and, and goes through it. And you are welcome to help him as much as you want to. Um, as long as you aren't getting in his way, because I would think that that's like self-destructive. If I were to try and do uh, things that he wanted to do, uh, but I did them, I'm sure I'd screw him up. So I'm not that worried about it. Hopefully he can do it. Step one was to kind of talk about the process with them. Uh, one of the things that resonated with me is um, they're into their kits like, you know, $30,000. Some spend more. It depends what you're getting. Um, but they paid for it all up front. So that was the first thing that like struck me um, because that is a lot of money, especially with kind of the uncertainty of when is this guy coming? Is this like a real business? What is this? And so I didn't know, I was a little apprehensive, uh, especially right now with COVID and everything. I just didn't know what the um, game plan would be. Um, and so... Now that I had talked to my friends with cars, I asked them, who should I reach out to? My friends are in Portland. I am in Salt Lake. Uh, um, but I needed to figure out kind of what the next step was, who I talked to, yada, yada, yada. So um, 
And initially, uh, what had happened is I reached out to both Christian uh, in Seattle as well as Joey, um, who is at RWBLA, uh, asked them some questions, verified. The big thing I was trying to figure out was, um, and this maybe is myth number one, do you really have to pay everything up front, even though right now, especially with COVID, uh, there is no schedule for having uh, your project completed. So um, the problem is, is that um, right now with COVID going on, uh, Nakai-san is not leaving Japan. He can't uh, leave Japan to go and work on all of the projects. So he's creating what the model builders uh, like to call a backlog. So he's got, um, you know, quite a few projects in the hopper that he has coming up. Um, and typically when you get onto the list, we're talking about like a 11, 12 month wait. So I reached out and said, hey, um, I want to build a car. Do I have to really pay you upfront all of the money? And how long is it going to take? And the response I got, I believe was, Yes, to get your name on the list, you have to pay everything up front, uh, raw welt, whether you do it in the States, in Japan, in Europe, uh, they do not do any kind of like payment plans, they do not do like deposit now and remainder at time of delivery. It is, if you want to be on the list and you want to get scheduled, um, you've got to have everything up front. So uh, that was step one. Uh, step two, once I knew that was the case, was going on the website and digging around to figure out exactly which kit I wanted. So as I went through, um, I my car is an 86, so technically you would think I'd be looking at like 930 kits. The problem is, is that with the Targas, it's just so hard to find a 964 Targa. So I looked and looked and looked. I found an 86. It was the cleanest thing I could find. Um, and I went for it, but I didn't buy it until I verified that I'd be able to make the 964 body kit work on it. So when my car is done, it'll look just like the 964 uh, Targa. Uh, differences being obviously suspension, uh, differences obviously being the engine. Uh, I'm in the 3.2 right now uh, versus the 3.4 liter. Uh, but the big thing for me was I had to make sure I had a really clean shell. If I'm gonna spend this kind of money um, and do this kind of work on the car and have it be a project. Like this is truly a project I'll probably keep forever. Uh, so I wanted to make sure it was the right car. Um, and the 3.2 Carrera, it's an 86, um, is what I fell on because this one is absolutely 0% rust, 100% um, just flawless. The body had been gone through by the guy before me. So uh, the first thing I did is once I verified that uh, the only way I could do this was by uh, paying in advance. I jumped on the website to figure out what the cost was. I believe um, the cost for the basic kit in any form right now is twenty four thousand uh, plus. I think that you play you pay your taxes, your import taxes up front. So um, I think that the bare minimum, if you want to get on the list at the start right now, as of uh, I don't even know what month it is, September of 2020 right now the bare minimum to get on that list uh is twenty four thousand six hundred dollars i think so just a quick recap first thing you need to do is talk to friends jump on instagram slide into dms whatever it is uh do some research learn about the process and in that from people who have done it uh you're welcome to contact me uh, at basement gp on instagram or here uh just find people people who have cars like what you're looking for uh, will help you so uh, that's first step step two jump on the website learn about the kits figure out exactly what you want which options uh, at least narrow it down step three contact the guys at rwb they've got contact forms right there on the uh, site and so you can jump on there and ask them all the questions and if you're ready to go tell them you're ready to go and they will send you an invoice once you get the invoice step four uh, you will be able to wire transfer them the money and they will confirm once that transfer has arrived that you're on the list. Uh, and then step five is eventually you will get a uh, confirmation for a build date. I am waiting for step five. In the meantime, figure out what you're gonna do to build the car, uh, figure out your plans between now and when they come, 
and go from there. So the next step, kind of what we're going to do on the next video, is we're going to start talking about the budget, the build, some of the goals, what I want to get done um, prior to Nakai getting here. Uh, the really hard part that I have right now is just where I don't know um, necessarily when my build is going to be. It's hard to build a budget out uh, and a priority list, right? So I think what I'll do is just have a running budget, running priority list. And what we'll do is just tackle things piece by piece. So we'll jump into that in the next video. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for everybody. If you haven't already, please uh, like the video. Just poke like right now. Um, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Uh, I'm going to have some cool giveaways as we're going through this as well. Oh, something else. If anybody wants to work on uh, any of like the soft goods, like um, clothing design, any of that kind of stuff for Raw Welt number one, Utah, uh, let me know. I've got some really cool ideas. I'm an artist too, so it'll be fun to collaborate with some of you guys. So reach out um, and we'll go from there. Next video, we'll talk about the build list, some of the priorities, budget, and that. So I appreciate you guys coming. Um, we'll see you at the next one. So bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.